the many spectrums of Satanism and Luciferianism. It is important to comprehend, as with all things, that there are many ranges of current socially acceptable lifestyle practices that would identify within the spectrum of Satanism or Luciferianism, from dabblers, black magicians, as well as any moderate to fanatic practices that strictly observe the holidays and ritual seasons. The spectrum of the intensity of the practice of Satanism or Luciferianism is usually based on the level of each person's negative ego distortions, their personal desires, lust for power, and addictive tendencies. The stronger the ego drive for instant gratification, the less moral fiber to consider the consequences that action has upon others. In the freedom of practicing any religion or lifestyle, just because a person identifies with being religious or spiritual does not make them a good-hearted, trustworthy, and compassionate person. One may draw comparisons observing many Christian sects that may identify with the Bible or Jesus teachings, yet have many different ranges of interpretations and belief systems in what is thought to be God's divine will for humanity. People that identify with being Christian and yet subscribe to the blood sacrifice of Jesus nailed to a cross as God's plan for humanity have no idea that blood sacrifice is purely satanic. It has absolutely nothing to do with true Christianity. In this state of mental confusion, there are many people with inverted belief systems, identifying as a Christian, and yet they are really practicing and connecting with satanic forces that are pretending to be Christian. Satanic and Luciferian forces are the great imposter spirits. They are the ultimate deceivers and liars that enjoy confusing and mocking people. As an example, the Catholic Church is plagued with pedophilia and sodomy of children committed by clergy, which are the main tenets of the high-powered Satanists in their rituals for gaining power and control over others. With the knowledge of the satanic agenda and their practices and belief systems, it becomes crystal clear who has been really running the Catholic Church and Vatican City. Satanic forces mock the Christians by pretending to be representatives of goodness, God, and Christ. Additionally, Many youngsters involved in these practices that proclaim themselves as Satanists when influenced from movies, modern art, or music are not involved in human blood sacrifice, but remain completely unaware of the spiritual energetic ramifications of giving their authority to Satanic or Luciferian forces. Many have no idea that these forces directly connect and communicate with an array of off-planet alien forces that directly answer to some of these sigils and rituals. Many times, infiltrating the human energy field and implanting their consciousness to become their mind control slave. However, what is considered acceptable behavior in one sect of a satanic cult, like the ritual murder and cannibalism of babies, may be found morally reprehensible in a Luciferian belief system and vice versa. Many Luciferians do not believe that satanic forces actually exist. Yet, 
They are interacting with satanic forces in satanic blood ritual, referring to the same consciousness force as Lucifer, without the conscious awareness of the fact of who or what is actually present during the ritual of black magic sorcery. What makes it easy to confuse the two distinct and separate consciousness forces of Satanism and Luciferianism is that they are comprised of a female-male gender reversal that are both based in service-to-self ideology. Satanism is without light and is made up of black subtle forces conjured from the lowest female principle dimensions and black magic grids. While Luciferianism is the false light source, conjured from the higher male principle dimensions, attempting to mimic and steal enlightenment from the solar consciousness of Christos Sophia. We could think of a classic Satanist locked in the lower three layers of the negative ego, focused on the instinctual drives, while the Luciferian is attempting to gain higher knowledge through opening his third eye, bypassing his heart center. Additionally, there are many people that are not aware of the negative alien agenda and may identify as a Satanist or Luciferian, yet are fully capable of having a reasonable set of ethics in being respectful to others and not desiring to inflict harm on anyone. They may reject dogmatic religion and choose to support human creativity personal freedom, gaining knowledge, and seeking enjoyment of earthly life. For them, the Christian religion, as it is generally represented, is morally repugnant, and what is marketed as Luciferianism is much more appealing and rational. However, Satanism and Luciferianism at its core source share the common grounds of belief that are rooted in service to self, believing that in order to become a master of the material world and gain wealth, prestige, and knowledge, those with superior genetics and brute power deserve to exercise rulership over others that are less privileged. These archontic deception overlays come directly from the mind control broadcast from the negative alien agenda themselves, spreading and growing the secret practice of Satanism and Luciferianism in the earth human population and throughout the main pillars of society is the primary agenda of the negative aliens who invaded our earth, who desire to enslave the planet and human consciousness through believing in their many complex deceptions.